Hey, what's going on? It's Doug Cunnington here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use KW Finder to find keyword golden ratio terms. I've been using KW Finder a lot over the past few weeks, and I really like the features and how friendly it is to find keyword golden ratio terms. I'm gonna show you five different things, or at least talk about five different things. And even if you have used KW Finder, if you're pretty good with the keyword golden ratio, I encourage you to stick around till the end. So here are the things I'm gonna talk about. We'll go over the unusual, or at least the non-default feature that I use to find the keyword golden ratio terms. We'll also look at the keyword difficulty, the KD stat, and that gives us a glimpse into the competition level as well. Then we'll get into the LPS. And if you don't know what the LPS is, then you'll definitely want to stick around. And then as normal, I couldn't help myself but to rant a little bit and talk about tools and why tools can be useful even if you could do things without the tool. And finally, the last part is a question and it is about informational topics and I need your input. Again, I'll need you to leave comments on this video. So before we get to the, the main event here, I'm gonna put a link in case you missed the last video on KW Finder. So definitely have a look at that um, after you watch this video, if you haven't seen it and tell your friends. All right, let's get to the demo right now. We're on the default screen here. And what I'm gonna do is click autocomplete because that is a great way to get some of the low hanging fruit for keyword golden ratio terms. We're gonna take a look at best electric shaver four. And then we'll just leave it at that. We're gonna leave it for, uh, we're gonna put it on uh, the US here and just say find keywords. So we click the green button and see what we come up with here. So we have all this, all this data from the Google search API, which is fantastic. And you'll notice that we have uh, the keywords that are listed. There are 324. Then we have the trend column, the search column, which are both interesting. We have the CPC, that's the cost per click, which we don't care about. That's really for advertisers for Google AdWords. The PPC, the pay per click, right? That's another deal for Google AdWords, which we don't care about. And then the KD number, that is the keyword difficulty, which is based on the link profile strength, the LPS. And that kind of gives us an idea on how difficult it is to rank for that particular keyword. We, however, are looking for keyword golden ratio terms. So there's a few things we're gonna do to make this uh, list of 324 a little bit shorter, a little bit easier to go through. All right, so I'm gonna click on filter results. I'm gonna go to search volume, the max, we're gonna make it 250 right here. And we could add a few other things if we wanted to, but we're not going to, in this case, we're just gonna leave it at 250 for the max. And then that got rid of a few, not a ton. So we went from 324 to 316. Now that's fine. And you'll notice that the KD number is populated for quite a few of these terms, but not all. So what you can do, if you wanna find out what the KD number is, is click the little, magnifying glass and then you'll get a value it'll calculate it for you so i think it's probably like in the database or whatever and if it's not in the database then you have to click the little magnifying glass and uh, electric shavers uh, as you can see if you look at a few of these uh the, you get some interesting things where people are shaving um you got thick hair which i don't have you have uh, manscaping you know that's cool and then you got a uh, women's facial hair you got elderly man you have acne all sorts of very interesting terms here so you can just uh, have a field day checking those out now what you can do here is take these values, you can copy the keyword right here, and then you can check the keyword golden ratio value. And to do that, I recommend that you get the spreadsheet that I use. It's my own personal calculator and it's free to use. Um, I'll put a link in the description. All you have to do is uh, enter your name and email address and I'll send you a link for the keyword golden ratio calculator and it makes it a whole lot easier. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is the calculator. As I said, it's free, but here's the deal. 
you need to make your own copy. So if you send me an email asking to edit the master copy, I will think that you don't read directions because it says right here, make your own copy of the sheet. And that just makes it a little bit easier. I will paste best electric shaver for women's facial hair right here. And then I do know that the search volume was 40 from uh, looking at the tool. And then we end up with this. This is why the spreadsheet's awesome is it sort of auto populates here. So we could just click this link here. It auto populates the hyperlink. And then we see right here, there are five results. So, you know, could do math in my head a little bit and I know that's kind of a good one there. So you got five all entitled results out of 40 total and that gives you a ratio of 0.125, which is a good one. And we can click back and you can look through here and see um, there's a lot more choices out there. So you could check a lot of these bald head, that looks good. I mean, if you wanna have a sharp looking bald head like myself, maybe you check out an electric shaver. I don't use an electric shaver though. But um, the other thing that you can check out is you notice that I talked about the KD number, right? So you can go through here and you can narrow it down. Now, the thing is you will have to click for some of these more obscure ones, but it as you can see, it just takes a, a second or two to populate. And then if you went through here and, and you got that uh, value for the KD number, then you could come back here filter the results and say maybe a maximum of, I'm just gonna arbitrarily choose 25, but you could adjust it and then that will narrow down the results quite a bit. Now you see it actually has the ones um, listed here that don't have a value. So maybe what you wanna do is sort it. So then you can see the ones that are actually calculated here and that gives you somewhere to start from. So you can see all these uh, choices here and it really makes it a little bit easier and saves you time. And this was just for like one term in this niche. So you could you can see it's quite valuable. You'll notice this uh, difficulty scoring over here um, and you can see just the competition. So basically it's not the difficulty scoring, but it, it's the uh, competition. So you have the Google SERPs over here, you have the uh, PADA, that is the page authority, domain authority. You have the citation flow, the trust flow. All those are metrics um, giving you an indication how strong the backlink profile is and really like how powerful the site is, how hard it will be to displace it based on the backlinks. And you'll notice here the LPS, that is a length profile strength. All right. So the keyword difficulty is based on the average, maybe some other factors in there, but it's generally based on the length profile strength, the LPS. So this is a great way to use KW Finder to find uh, like low hanging fruit for Amazon affiliate sites specifically in this case, but you can do it for any kind of keyword research and it does save time and it does give you, like I said, this snapshot over here, I mean for best electric shaver for a close shave. And then you see the SERPs over here. You have an idea about how difficult it is and the interest over time. I mean, there's a ton of data in here. And just because you can get the information from other sources, right? Um, in fact, this was a comment on the previous video that I did on KW Finder. Someone called me out and they said, hey, Doug, it looks like you're pushing products and you're trying to make money out there. Well, two things with that. Yes, that is correct. I am trying to make money. Um, but the second part is just because you can do something with uh, without using a tool and do it for free doesn't mean it's better. It doesn't mean the tool is useless. This tool saves you time. And for a lot of people, saving time is a really good thing to do. So check out KW Finder if you like what you see here. As I mentioned before, I'm an affiliate, so I do get a commission if you use it. And I Definitely appreciate it, but you don't have to use my link. You can just go straight to KW Finder. It is a fine tool. Thank you. All right, I need you to do two things. Number one, there were some pretty funny keywords uh, that showed up on the list. So I need you to leave a comment to let me know uh, the funniest one that you saw on the list. Maybe you come up with something even funnier. But the more important thing is I need you to leave a comment if you'd like to see a video on finding informational topics. 
that's something that I haven't looked into very much on these demos. And I think there's probably a pretty cool way that we can do it on KW Finder. So leave a comment if you want to see that. And don't forget, let us know the funniest keyword phrase that you saw in the list.